Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to World Geography with Muhammad Adnan. Today tutorial is related to uh, how can we make uh, the DM of uh, any area with its resolution of 5 meter. So as you can see I am first adding my uh, study area shape file. Then we will be uh, start work on it. Uh, so as you can see uh, I need first a shape file. Here some tool we use in the RGS. Uh, you can use it a create feature tool and random uh, create random points. So these both are uh, can be work in this uh, tutorial. And now we make a create random point. As you can see we search for it and now we get this one we will use this tool so when it's open here we simply give its output location where we want to save it we save it it uh, here uh, sorry the file is selected from here and go to this and this okay so here we will be selected the dm okay. okay so here will be the location change from output location of the file and then we select uh, uh, its uh, distance and so as you can see here the distance is 100 uh, as much zeros you can put the values will be uh, given accuracy we give here uh, around uh, 30 so it will become uh, 1000 Okay, now we give this the feature class to this our study area and uh, we here give the name the other point okay and we simple okay it. so here will be the points come this point will be in the isri uh, shape file we convert it into the kmz file and so for it we need a uh, as you can see the points coming on our study area so now we need to convert it into the KML so you can convert it from uh, uh, RGIS and you can convert it from to uh, Google Earth Pro there are two KML tools we use here there are two KML and now we simply select it there are two KML here we select and then uh, we go to this go other point and we give it to the output location where we want to save it we simply go to this drive and go other DM and here we will be make a camel file for it you need an uh, internet access because we need to download the GPX uh, uh, file from website. Go under camel. Okay, so simple. It will be now KMC file. And when it's completed, we for it need to access internet. So I open my internet access. As you can see it's done but we need to access it to internet and the internet connection okay this will be done so for it uh, you need a good internet connection if you don't have it so your work not be done very well so as you can see our internet will be connected now we open simple the website which name is a gps visualization and uh, it on the srtm satellite data and with a recently date uh, data will be provided according to your need so i am open it from here this one gps visualization here we simple open uh, our file which we converted into camel by this chosen file one 
uh, and as you can see we go to there because we save it here or uh, yes we give it to the camel find them gavadar camel okay so simple it's open now we uh, convert it to the gpx and it will be taken in the jet time as you can see we get its download link we simple download it to on this this same folder so it will take time go other dm camel file This one to GPX GPX to each and after that we need to give its output location. But first we need to layer camel this data. We open here and uh, we give us the output as uh, it will be in the feature class. <coughs> Sorry for that. Now we open the other DM and uh, we simply keep here DM point go other. So it will be in the shape file. We simple OK it. Then we give it the uh, UTM zone. How can we give it CDM zone? I am going to showing it from here. Uh, as we can go to this drive for the now we have here a zone image because our uh, study area lies in the Balochistan province of Pakistan. This area, okay, so this area lies in the UTM. 41 so we select this UTM for our study area let's we go when it's done we will be open its projection system then we finally apply our IDW tool so as you can see the points will be done now we simply apply IDW tool on it this point wait a minute I just need to check its uh, projection system as I am showing it before applying this tool we need to give its projection so project tool we will be used for it now we select here and simple go to the output coordinate system <coughs> as we need so we simple going to <coughs> projected coordinate system and here we get uh, the UTM and UTM to uh, WGS 1948 and North Hemisphere and uh, here we select uh, the 41 and we also add it into the favorite also okay so uh, after getting it we give it the output as uh, uh, game bother with a projected and with a one because we already have make one another so we give it it will be done then we simple finally apply our IDW tool on it so we get our final roster image with a uh, resolution of 5 meter
interesting extent to the other shape pad uh, with the raster data also this so all thing will be done now we simple okay edge and it will be performed and we will get our final uh, data from it so as you can see our data will be done here so now i uncheck this so all this point and uh, as you can see our data coming here our uh, its elevation and uh, all these things uh, we open its uh, uh, properties and here you can see the cell size to 5 into 5 so we finally get the data uh, in the 5 into 5 we can also make it a hand shape and all of these So as you can see the hill shade also uh, generated from here and we simply keep its uh, color um, has a symbology and uh, here we select this one and we change its color okay and here we will we go to the display and transparency to 25 uh, 30% okay <coughs> and here we keep its below below to our file so here we get with uh, it's in the uh, hill shade with uh, this color so its transparency will be work and this we will get the elevation with a hill shape so i hope this video will be help you for more informative video you need to subscribe our channel thank you so much